is the euro sterling we've had on the weekly time frame we've had a pretty decent uh, false breakout from this kind of rectangle here let me just elaborate on this we're in consolidation um here and we've just been for the past kind of like uh 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 weeks even we've just been simply um oscillating between these two levels here this floor and this ceiling so it would make sense to simply buy the bottom and sell the top but as we are still in an upward trend it would make sense to simply have our bias on the continuation to the upside. Given that this was a false breakout to the downside, we have a false breakout that typically is quite a powerful reaction in the similar kind of like, um, well, sorry, in the prevailing trend direction. So here we go. On Friday, we close as a bullish pin bar reversal inside this kind of rectangular square and closed in all crucially let's just tidy this up a bit so that it's actually level there we go so it closed inside it there we have it so the high of last week was here so if we did essentially look to buy this what we could do is we could simply place our entry just above the high of friday stop loss below the low that seems pretty valid to me and have our target essentially towards the top side of this range let's have a look to see what the reward to risk is so we have a 1.73 to 1 reward to risk trade if we are targeting the top side of this range of course this would be target uh, one after we scale out at a one-to-one -one round about here um, one other idea is simply trading this on the weekly time frame and 50 fibbing it as you can see here we've got bullish um, reversal divergence there we go we've got a lower low here and we've got higher highs uh, on the rsi setting six and of course the stochastic 833 that is and it makes for interesting reading if what we wanted to do is simply 50 fibbit by having our order halfway down last week's bar at roughly the 50 percent mark and we can always do this based on fibonacci uh, retracement tool but let's just do it roughly here we can increase that reward to us quite nicely there we go but the only downside with this is the fact that price might just simply rally upwards and it might not come back to trigger us in at the midpoint which is round about here so if we do enter at the midpoint of last week with our stop loss below the low of last week it means that we can essentially get a 3 to 1 or 3.27 to 1 reward to us trade if our ultimate target is the top side uh, but if we're risking 2% that's about 6.5% potential gain but of course with the latter modus operandi if you did take the advanced entry at the midpoint there is the risk that price was, will just simply go up next week and it won't trigger us in at our midpoint entry pretty much like what happened with Aussie CAD actually price didn't come back to trigger us into the trade even though that trade hasn't gone anywhere okay so pros and cons if you wanted to go for a slightly safer entry on the daily time frame um which base is just based basically on the break of the high it will mean entering at the high of Friday stop loss below the low as you can see here it's gonna give us a slightly less efficient entry in terms of reward to risk than if we took the midpoint on the weekly time frame. Okay, so that is Euro GBP. You've got two options there.